Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Starting Eleven show. Everton versus Nottingham Forest. Huge game of football at Wilson Park on Sunday. Yeah, I'm going to try and pick the team. <laughs> I must admit, at this point, I really do feel like I'm just shuffling the deck chairs on the Titanic. I, <laughs> I, I'm, I, I really am sort of scratching my head for what is the best team. Um, it, it's, it's so difficult to just pick a formation or, or I mean, it's just... It's the same thing week in and week out. And I could sit here and go, play three at the back and do this and play two up front. But none of it seems to like live in the reality of um, Sean Dyche's teams. Um, yeah, and some weeks you just want to like throw everything out. Um, especially this week after such a bad performance at, at Chelsea. Um, that it is difficult. Um and even if I wanted to play three at the back, I don't think we've got the players to play three at the back now with us losing Nathan Passes and possibly Seamus Coleman. So I'm going I'm going to try and put a team out. I'm going to see what I can come up with. Um, it's going to be a back four. Obviously, Jordan Pickford in goal. Uh, he obviously made a massive mistake on Monday night, but still obviously our number one and 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 you'll start in goal. Um, right back, I'm going to go for Ben Godfrey. Um, as I mentioned, Nathan Patterson's out for the rest of the season. Not that he would start anyway, I imagine. Seamus Coleman, a bit of a doubt after last week. So you'd have to imagine it you'd have to imagine Ben Godfrey would probably be the best player. The player who's fit, he's available to start. You can't mess about in these situations. Three games in a week as well. So you've got to look at it that way as well. So Ben Godfrey, he's got all the physical attributes, got the got the pace to deal with it as well. So Ben Godfrey at right back, uh, Vitaly Michalenko at left back, again, pretty consistent being there all season, no problems there. And the two centre-backs, James Tarkowski and uh, Jared Brantwaite, Brantwaite available after obviously going off against Chelsea. You know, all you got to hope is that they put the other night behind them, uh, put it behind them. James Tarkowski, I thought, was very petulant, very childish on Monday night and, you know, being just, just, just unprofessional in his manner, certainly in the second half. So um, they all need to be at their best for this game. Into midfield, Amadou Onana starts for me. Didn't think he was particularly good last week. Don't think the way we played suited him either. He is someone who sits in front of the back four and protects the back four. That's his job. He gets the ball, he gives the ball. He's not a box-to-box -box midfielder. Um, he's not someone who should be pressing. He's someone who should be sitting in front of the back four, taking the ball off them, taking the ball off the goalkeeper uh, and trying to move it through, through, you know, through the... Um, through the pitch um, and he should allow people in front of him to do their jobs and we just for yes he was poor the other night and I know that he's not everyone's cup of tea but honestly if we play him the right way we'll get more out of him um, so for me he sits in front of the back four Adesagana Gay if he's fit must start for me I think he was a ma I think he's been a massive loss uh, certainly I think on Monday I don't think I think Monday would have suited him more than the other two because he does like to press uh, he does like to go looking for the ball. Um, so he would definitely start for me if he's fit. And hopefully he is fit. He's he's back in training and, and the manager said, you know, he's, he's a, he, he, should, he should be okay. So he starts. So now it's the other one. Who goes into the who goes in, in ahead of them? Uh, Andre Gomez, I thought, has done quite well in the Burnley game and, his, and what he did on, on Monday night. Is that enough, though? Is that enough to just have a player... He takes the ball and and you know uh, moves around the pitch. Is is that not what Onan is doing? I think Gomez you can get away with him playing higher up the pitch. I think he can do that role. Um, I just I just wonder physicality set pieces could be huge in this game. Forest are really poor on them. We that will be our major point of attack. I think set pieces again. Of course it will. And for that reason, I think I think. Um, the core will should start for that reason. The the set pieces, the drop that the knockdowns. Um, surely he's got to come alive in one of these games. Surely he's got to. Um, so that would be my my three in midfield. On the right hand side, this is one. No Ashley Young, <laughs> no Ashley Young. Whatever happens, um, 
but it's the it it is it do you is it Jack Harrison coming back into the side or James Garner like I would have liked to have seen against Chelsea although maybe injuries dictated it the other night. Um, I don't know. It's a, it's an interesting one this because I, I do think Garner could do a job out there. But as we're at home, uh, I think I'll go for Harrison coming back into the side again. As I said, it's it is moving the deck chairs around the Titanic, and hopefully if Dan Juma gets some time on the pitch, which he really should have got on Monday, I think in the second half, um, then that gives us another option. But maybe Harrison and Dwight McNeil, who I'm going to play on the left hand side, um. Maybe if the manager can start swapping them over and, and using them on the, on the other side. And then Dwight McNeil playing on the right-hand side can start coming in on his left foot, which would suit him more. And Jack Harrison, who um, who can use both feet, can can get crosses in from the byline from the on the left-hand side. Um, who knows? But they've got to be better. Dwight McNeil's got to step up. He's got to step up and start grabbing a game by the scuff of the neck. Like he did last season, he really has to. He's been poor this season. Um, he he really has. He's been poor. Little spell in December when we won the four games. That's about it. He's been very very average this season. Um, he's got to step up at some point. I know front. I'm going for Dominic Carvin Loon. Yeah, I think um, you know he's come off. He scored the two goals. He was out injured. Obviously, they've 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 left them out on purpose. And now it's him time for him to come back and. For me, he's a much better striker than Beto. Um, and it's how you use him as well. When we have Beto, we tend to play through the channels and, and allow him to run off the centre-backs. Why can't we do that for Dom as well? Why can't he do that and win the ball in the air? There's no reason. No reason whatsoever. So, Dom back for me. Again, set pieces. Um, and then utilise Beto in the second half. Let's go for it. You know, I, I can't imagine it's going to be a very open game from our point of view after what happened on Monday. It's crazy what happened the way we played on Monday because really that's the way we should be setting up at home. But we don't. And you, you can see us reverting back to type for this game uh, just as we were against Burnley where we, we play um, very conservatively and, and just wait for the chances. So we'll see what happens. It's a big game. Um, and hopefully we can get to three points because they would be absolutely huge to create a gap between us and Nottingham Forest. Let me know your thoughts in the comments anyway. Who would you go for? Who would you who would you be your starting eleven in this game? Don't forget, check out the uh, match preview as well that me and John have done as well. And for more great videos, head over to Toffee TV Premier. The link is in the description and the uh, QR code's coming up on the screen now. See you later.